Mathematicians, welcome to part 2 video of irreducible polynomials. In part 1, we, were, we discussed about irreducible polynomials over R. In this video, we discuss about irreducible polynomials under roots of polynomials. Okay. So, we know that if a polynomial has a root in a field F, then it is reducible over F. Uh, we are going to discuss uh, similar results and using this result we solve few CSIR problems from the previous year. Okay, let's, let's start. So, formally we say what is the definition of irreducible polynomials. So, fix a field F and a non-constant polynomial is said to be irreducible over F. If it cannot be factored into product of two non-constant polynomials with the coefficients in F. Okay. Or equally, F polynomial F is said to be, F of X said to be reducible if F of X reducible over a field F. If F of X can be written as uh, F of X equal to G of X times some H of X. And this G of X and H of X are polynomial over F. And degree of g of x is uh, at least 1, degree of h of x is also at least 1, okay. So, basically both of them, both of them has to have degree at least 1. So, this also implies that if this polynomial is uh, degree 1, this polynomial is degree 1, then this polynomial has degree at least 2. So, by definition, we take linear polynomials are irreducible, okay. Degree 1 polynomials are irreducible because we can't break it like this. Okay, now we know, uh, we will say an example, like you, for example, you consider a polynomial x square plus 1 over r. It is a polynomial with coefficient from r. It, you can uh, think of it as a polynomial over q also. But uh, this polynomial is irreducible over r. Because in over r, you can't bring it, uh, uh, split it into product of two linear factors. But it is reducible over C, the field of complex number. Why? Because this can be written as x plus i into x minus i. Okay. So, the factors, now this is a polynomial with coefficient from complex number. Therefore, this is, this factorization is over complex number. Therefore, this polynomial is reducible over R, but uh, not reducible over R. Real numbers are rational numbers. Okay. Irreducible over rational numbers and the real numbers. Okay, let's continue. Now, we see some examples. Yeah, linear polynomials are irreducible over any field. That's what we, I just said. And this polynomial we just saw, x square plus 1 is irreducible over r. Now, note, also this polynomial has no root in r. Okay, that is just a remark. Let's consider this polynomial, x cube plus x plus 1. This polynomial is reducible over z3 because if you substitute 1, f of 1 will be 1 plus 1 plus 1. This will be 3, 3 equal to 0 in z3. Therefore, this polynomial has a root in z3. So, you can write f of x as uh, x minus 1 times uh, some degree 2 polynomial. Okay. Therefore, this polynomial is uh, re reducible over z3. Okay. Now, in z2, you have uh, two elements 0 and 1 if you substitute 0 in this polynomial it is uh, you will get f of 0 equal to 1 and if you substitute a 1 you will get f of 1 equal to 3 3 equal to 1 in z2 okay therefore in uh, none of these elements are roots of this polynomials okay but uh, i mean but uh, it doesn't have roots. But we will also show that this polynomial is irreducible over z2. Okay. Now we are just checking that this polynomial has no roots. Okay. The polynomial has no roots. Doesn't mean that it is irreducible. So this is one important thing. Has roots in place. Reducible for sure. No roots doesn't imply irreducible. Okay, that we will see some example. So, this polynomial has no roots, but uh, not because of that reason we are saying it is irreducible. We will, uh, we will show some more result using that. We can prove that this polynomial is actually irreducible over z. Okay, we 
continue. So, this is very important thing. Okay. We will see more examples. It will be very clear. Okay. Now, this is, I will ask you a question. If f of x has a 0 in f, then f is reducible over f. Yes, that is true. Because once if a polynomial f has a root in the field f, f of x can be written as g of x times x minus alpha. Right. Now, this gives us the factorization of f of x. Therefore, f of x is reducible. So, this statement is true. Next, uh, uh, we can we can say that uh, if so this statement can also be say like this if f is irreducible then f has no root in f okay because once f has a root then it is reducible that also means that it is a if f has no if f is irreducible then f has no root in f okay now Suppose f is reducible over a field f, then f has a 0 in f, that is a question to you, okay. We saw that if f has a 0, f has a root, 0 means root, okay. If f has a 0 in f, then f is reducible, that we saw it is true. Now the converse, suppose f is reducible over a field f, then f has a 0 in f, so that is what we are going to see. No, the answer is false, that is not true. If a polynomial is reducible, doesn't mean that it should have a root. So, uh, we will see an example. Consider this polynomial f of x equal to x power 4 plus 2 x square plus 1. This is nothing but x square plus 1 the whole square. Okay. So, this is yesterday we, this example we saw yesterday about a reducible, irreducibility over r. So, this polynomial can be written as x square plus 1 the whole square. Therefore, x square plus 1 into x square plus 1. This is a factorization of this polynomial. So, the roots of this polynomial are uh, uh, i, i minus i minus i. For example, x square plus 1 has roots uh, i and minus i. So, therefore, x square plus 1 the whole square has roots uh, i, i minus i minus i. Okay. Therefore, none of these roots are real numbers. Therefore, this is a reducible polynomial which has no roots in R. Okay. So, in general, if a polynomial is a reducible, doesn't mean that it has a root in the field f. So, this is an example. Also, this polynomial is reducible because we saw that uh, ir irreducible polynomials over the real numbers are has, uh, has degree either 1 or 2. This is a degree 4 polynomial. Therefore, it is a reducible polynomial. Okay. Let's continue. So, this is wrong. Okay. F is reducible. If one only if f, f has a root is wrong. Only this direction is true. If f has a root, then reducible. But reducible doesn't mean that f has a root. Very good. So, this is the example we saw. Now, this is a very important result. Okay. Because in all the CSIR problems, most of the time they give only polynomials of degree 2 or 3. Okay. In this result, we say that let f be a polynomial over a field f such that degree of f is either 2 or 3. Okay. Then, f is reducible over f if and only if f has has a root in f okay so above we said that this statement is false f has a root in f if and only if f is reducible over f if and only if f has a root this is false in general because we gave an example of degree 4 we gave an example of a polynomial degree 4 but the same result is true if the polynomial you are considering is of degree either 2 or 3. Okay. So, a polynomial is reducible over f if and only if f has a root in f provided f the polynomial f has degree either 2 or 3. Okay. So, let us prove it. Suppose if, if f has a, again this, uh, this direction is uh, obvious. If f has a root in f then it is reducible. We, we saw the proof earlier. So, if f is uh, we have to prove that if f is reducible over f. Uh, we have to so, so we prove this direction okay if f is reducible over f then we have to prove that f has a root in f so how to prove that so now f is a polynomial over f such that degree of f is either 2 or 3 now we assume f is reducible if f is reducible then f can be split into two polynomials now since f, degree of f is either 2 or 3 one of the factor has to be a linear factor. Linear factor means 
degree one factor. Okay, because two means two can be splitted as uh, sorry, two can be splitted as one plus one. Again, three can be splitted as two plus one. This is the only possibility. So if a non if a degree two polynomial splitted into non constant polynomials it will be product of two linear factors if a degree poly de degree three polynomial is splitted into non constant polynomials one factor has to be degree two another factor has to be degree one in any case f of x will the uh, since f of x reducible it will have a linear factor like this ax plus b now this is a now this f is reducible over f means that this is a polynomial with coefficients from f again this is a polynomial with coefficients from f okay so if ax plus b is a uh, polynomial with coefficients from f for this polynomial x equal to minus b by a so this is a root okay but uh, ax plus b is a polynomial with coefficients from f means that a and b are from the field f therefore minus b by a is also a element of the field f okay so we conclude that this uh, f of for the pol for the polynomial f of x if it has degree either 2 or 3 this minus b by a is a root okay so it is a very very important statement f polynomial is reducible over f if and only if f has a root in f provided 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 degree of f is either 2 or 3 okay okay so again the same statement uh, if degree of f is either 2 or 3 then f is irreducible if and only if f has no root in f okay so again we come back to this uh, result uh, this example uh, where is that example come on quick yes so we yeah we saw that uh, this degree 3 polynomial has no root in the field z2 correct f of 0 is also 1 f of 1 is also 1 well, this field has only two elements none of the elements are root of this polynomial x cube plus x plus 1 therefore by the result we just saw if it is a degree 3 polynomial degree 2 polynomial or degree 3 polynomial reducible if and only if it has a root this polynomial has no root therefore this polynomial is irreducible again the polynomial x square plus 1 you consider that poly, it is a degree 2 polynomial which has no root in r because x square plus 1 has roots i and minus i therefore x square plus 1 is irreducible over and that is a different argument okay great let's continue so now we and we have understood the connection between roots and the irreducibility of polynomials if it is degree 2 or 3 then irreducible if and only if it has no roots that is a main result uh, i hope you understand clearly so let's uh, solve two simple problems using this result uh, I mean, let's solve two uh, problems, but it is a CSIR problem. So, first problem is asked in uh, 2011 June. It is a part B problem. And the second is uh, again 2011 June. Uh, it is a part C problem. See, in the same question paper, they have asked two problems about uh, irreducibility, polynomials irreducibility. So, let's see. Uh, let uh, I won't be the ideal generated by x power 4 plus 3x square plus 2 and i2 is the ideal generated by x cube plus 1. See now and uh, they are defining f1 equal to q of x by ideal generated by uh, yeah, x power okay let me I can write it. So i1 is ideal generated by x power 4 plus 3x square plus 2. i2 is uh, ideal generated by x cube plus 1 okay okay very good now look at the polynomial x cube plus 1 for this polynomial minus 1 is a root okay therefore this polynomial has a root in q therefore this polynomial is a reducible polynomial and we know that this is again a important result from ring theory r by i the quotient ring is a field if and only if i is maximal ideal okay now you take a uh, so uh, there is another important result uh, you take uh, suppose i is an uh, ideal generated by a polynomial f of x okay then i is maximal ideal if and only if f of x is irreducible okay so 
over uh, in the so you take r to be f of x if, if it's a field f of x is an a ring in that ring i look at the uh, ideal generated by a polynomial then that ring is maximal if only if irreducible okay therefore this f1 is a field if i1 is a maximal ideal but i1 is a maximal ideal if this polynomial is irreducible similarly f2 is a field if i1 is irreducible but we just saw that i1 this polynomial has a root in q minus 1 is a root therefore x q plus 1 is a reducible over q okay x q plus 1 equal to x minus 1 into some x plus 1 into something okay that you can easily calculate therefore f2 is not a field okay why f2 is not a field this polynomial is reducible now let's see whether x power 4 plus 3 x square plus 2 is uh, irreducible over q so again you see uh, all the powers occurring here are even so whenever you see such a polynomial you substitute t equal to x square so then if you do this uh, simplification you get uh, x power 4 plus 3 x square plus 2 is a product of two polynomials okay therefore this is a polynomials over q therefore again this polynomial is also a reducible polynomial so we get that none of this field is an uh, none of these rings are field because both these polynomials are reducible so we conclude that neither f1 nor f2 is a field is a right answer okay let's uh, go to the next problem like let i1 be the ideal generated by x square plus 1 let me write again the same idea and uh, f i2 is the ideal generated by x cube minus x plus x minus 1 so if you noticed uh, this polynomial has no root in q and it is a degree 2 polynomial therefore it is irreducible over q so we get r1 is a field and this polynomial has 1 as a root okay whenever sum of the coefficient is 0 1 is a root okay so we conclude that 1 is a root of this poly, uh, 1 is a uh, sorry we conclude that uh, 1 is a root of this polynomial therefore this polynomial is reducible therefore r2 is not a field therefore the correct option is r1 is a field and r2 is uh, not a field okay similarly there is uh, another problem let f of x equal to x cube plus 2x square plus 1 g of x equal to 2x square plus x plus 2 and uh, over z3 okay which of the polynomials are irreducible so what you can do you can just substitute these numbers and check whether they have the root if they have the root it is irreducible if not they are not irreducible okay so this you can do so if you see this is a degree 2 polynomial degree 3 polynomial this is degree 2 degree 3 so basically most of the time they, they give degree 2 3 if they go for higher degrees then usually it end up in a t equal to x square that kind of things okay so so just with the roots Connection between roots and irreducible polynomials, you can solve many problems. I hope you understand today's lecture and uh, if you think you learned something new, please like this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you guys. I will uh, meet you in different videos.